Hi you guys, I'm back and I am ready to show you a project that I started and I am kind of jumping down the rabbit hole. So I am actually making little aprons for the Disney princesses for my daughter and it's a very simple process. So I've been making a couple of them and I just wanted to show you how to make the pattern and how to sew it together. And these probably in total from beginning to end take about two hours, probably a little quicker once your pattern is already made. And the nice thing about these is that what you can do with the pattern is you can actually use it for so many different styles of dresses. So I do change them a little bit for each dress, but overall it has the same general idea. So what I wanted to show you today was the pattern that I used to make uh, Elsa apron, which turned out like this. And it even has cute little details at the bottom, the hearts and all. And um, I actually used the same pattern that I used for this dress to make uh, Aurora or Sleeping Beauty dress as well because it had the same bodice shape. And what's really nice, like I said, is this only requires a pattern for like the bodice and if you decide to do a waistband, the waistband as well. But everything else are just rectangles. And so it doesn't really require a whole lot of work. You just kind of measure, cut, and sew. So let me show you how I made this. Let's get into it. To create the bodice piece, you're going to make a rectangle that is seven and a half inches tall by five inches wide. And once you have that marked out on the right side of your rectangle from the bottom, mark up one and a half inches. And at that mark, you will just go ahead and connect it to the bottom of the left side of your pattern. And then at the top of your right side, you'll add an additional one and a half inches on the top and then connect those lines to the left side as well. Mark your fold, which will be on your left side so that you will remember to cut that on the fold when you cut it out of your fabric. And then when you create the waistband, you are going to do a very similar shape but it's going to be four inches tall by five inches wide. And again, you're going to use the same uh, idea where you're going to measure up an additional one and a half inches on top and connect it to the right side. I'm sorry, the right side to the left side and then one and a half inches up from the bottom and connect that to the left side as well. Make sure you mark your fold mark because this will also be cut on the fold as well so that now you have your two pieces, you can start cutting. So I used those pattern pieces I created to cut out two pieces of fabric on the fold for both the bodice piece and the waistband. And then I went ahead and cut out the rest of the pieces I needed, which were all just simple squares or rectangles. So let's look at the skirt that is 36 inches wide by 20 inches long. We have two waist ties. The black straps on the sides are four inches wide by 24 inches long. And we also have two shoulder straps that are put into two separate pieces. So we have the bigger piece is six inches wide and eight inches long and the shorter or the smaller pieces are two inches wide and eight inches long. And then we also have optional decals, which I just cut out a couple of simple hearts for the bottom of the skirt. And what you can see on the bodice is already pinned there. And now it's time just to get sewing. The first thing I did was sew my decals onto my one bodice piece and I just used a simple zigzag stitch around the edge and I also added a piece of trim at the top of the bodice. And now I'm going to work on sewing my straps and what I do simply is I fold it in half and then I fold my edges into that halfway mark and fold it over so it's in quarters and I'm going to attach this smaller uh, piece to my wider piece and I will use those and attach it directly to my bodice by sandwiching them in between the bodice and I'm going to sew around the edges just along the sides and the tops and I will leave the bottom edge raw so that I can attach my waistband and my skirts to that part and we will continue from there. Once the bodice was sewn together, I started working on my skirt. 
and I just hemmed along the bottom of the skirt as well as the edges of the skirt since this is an apron. I added my little details onto the bottom of the skirt, again using the zigzag stitch around the edges to keep them from fraying. I also added a little trim to the bottom of the waistband that I have at the top of the skirt, and I did a gathering stitch along the top of the skirt as well and went ahead and gathered my entire skirt. So the plan now is to just insert the skirt entirely into this little black waistband that we have right here. And I'm going to sandwich it in between there. I'm going to add my little side straps to the sides of this and attach it to the skirt. So the waistband has been attached to the skirt by sandwiching it directly inside. And then I also added the waist ties to the side of the waistband. And if you flip this inside out, uh, right side out actually, you can see how this is looking. And we are ready to attach the top of this waistband to the bottom of our bodice and our dress will be done. So let's see how it turned out. And we're done. So all I did was I simply put these two pieces right sides together and I sewed it along the a V at the bottom of the bodice. So I do have a raw edge that is exposed. So this isn't actually reversible, but it would have been possible to make it reversible. I was just using the simplest method possible because I was over making this and I was ready for it to be done. But it turned out really well, so let me show you how it looks on. Thank you for watching. If you like these types of videos, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more. Bye, y'all.